Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. In the last episode, we took on the task of infiltrating the Space Pirate Mothership as Zero Suit Samus. We are currently in Chozodia, or the Chozo Ruins, after we successfully managed to escape getting caught by the Space Pirates so far. And we find ourselves in uncharted territory, basically. Getting through the Space Pirate Mothership was not easy, but lo and behold, we find ourselves in a mysterious area, and the music has changed in the Chozo Ruins. This is quite interesting. Ugh, I missed time I jumped there, sorry about that. But anyway, as we move forward, let's see what we can find. That was an interesting cutscene. Samus Chozo uh, Origins, anyone? But now we got a new task we need to take on. This right here is the Chozo Guardian, or more commonly known as the Spirit of the Chozo. And in this, this is more like a puzzle than a boss battle, actually, but we'll still take damage from it. Our objective is to shoot the spear in the middle of the Chozo spirit when it flashes uh, the specific icon. We also have to dodge the uh, lightning it shoots out. But the moment the icon starts flashing, shoot it. You can't shoot it when Samus is visible in the uh, sphere, otherwise you'll take damage. And once you've gotten all four icons lit up, we'll see what happens. I missed my opportunity to shoot it right there because it was moving. But yeah, it'll constantly move around and shoot out lightning bolts. This right here is basically a test to see, I guess, if you're worthy of owning the uh, Chozo armor. And after a while, the lightning bolt will shoot down and go across the ground, so you gotta watch out for that. As I said before, you can't shoot the spear when Samus is visible in the center, otherwise you'll take damage. And the lightning will uh, start traveling across the ground after a few strikes. You just gotta wait for the right moment and shoot it! And once all four icons have been lit up in the center, you can walk in the center. There's Samus in the center. Walk in front of it. And there's the power suit! A beautiful rainbow aura surrounds Samus's body. I guess some way to show that she's worthy. And lo and behold, we get our power suit back! All the items, and lo and behold, all the three unknown items have been unlocked. We get the plasma beam. This powerful beam can defeat and can blast through multiple enemies. The se second upgrade is the gravity suit. Reduce damage from foes and enables free movement in water and it stops lava damage. And the final upgrade is the space jump. Somersault continuously in the air. Use a mid somersault to jump again. We got all three unknown items unlocked. And most importantly, we got our fully powered power suit, so let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the fully powered power suit, with the shoulder mounts in the various suit. It's time to kick some space pirate ass! And we get a lovely rendition of the remix of Brinstar's theme music right here, which is very awesome. Thank you, Chozo Guardians. But with all three unknown items unlocked and the fully powered power suit in our arsenal, the space pirates don't stand a chance against us. And lo and behold, we have our missiles and super missiles and everything else we had previously unlocked. Now it's time to find a way out through this area. We get a super missile tank for our troubles. This is totally awesome. And this uh, part of Metroid Zero Mission, the whole game has just opened up to us completely as we go through this area. With the with the, all the abilities unlocked, the space jump, the gravity suit, and of course the plasma beam, we can pretty much just blow through this whole entire area. 
And the next part of our objective is to find a way off of the space pirate mothership and get the hell out of here. Oh, let me take a look at this real quick. If I remember correctly, yeah, you need the speed booster to get up to this area right here, which uh, I'll get back to later. But yeah, as I said before, the whole game has opened up to us dramatically now that we have the fully powered power suit unlocked, basically. And, as the gravity suit mentioned before, it stops lava damage, because this is uh, lava we're going through. But come up this way, and we get ourselves another super missile tank. We're going to be getting a whole bunch of super missile and missile up, uh, upgrade tanks as we go through this area. And this lovely music that is playing is basically a remix of Brin Star's music from uh, earlier in the game, basically. And it's very awesome. As you progress throughout the area, yeah, you'll be going through certain areas you've been through before, such as the Chosa Ruins, and of course the Space Pirate Mothership. And even if you trigger the alarms for the Space Pirates to come and try and catch you, they won't stand a chance. All it takes is one good hit from your beam in order to damage them, which is awesome. And I forgot we don't have power bombs, but we'll be getting power bombs much later on as we progress throughout this area. Okay, we successfully managed to escape the uh, Chozo uh, ruins, so now we're back inside the Space Pirate Mothership, as I said before. We'll be going back to that one uh, tube-like bridge in a little bit after we've infiltrated the Space Pirate Mothership more, but yeah, this is basically what you're doing now as you progress throughout the game now after getting the power suit back and everything. You're basically blasting through the Space Pirate Mothership and the Chozo Ruins and we got a new enemy, Black Space Pirates. These guys are a lot tougher than the regular red ones. They take a crap ton of blasts just to defeat and missiles cannot destroy them unfortunately. We also get the little bulb-like enemies. These are the Bombas who shoot out electricity, somersault or space uh, score attack into them and they'll drop off energy. That's a good way to restore energy if you have not found a save room basically. And if you're on alert, the, spa the save rooms can't be accessed unfortunately. But yeah, this is basically what we're going to be doing throughout the rest of the game. We'll be infiltrating the Space Pirate Mothership. And let me see, we we need to we need to go up basically to find what we're looking for. But yeah, this is all we're basically doing. Fight through the space pirates, screw attack through, and boom. For the most part. Also, you'll notice those little tin can robots right there. If you remember them from the wrecked ship from Super Metroid, then you deserve a veteran's bonus, but we get another super missile tank for our troubles after blasting through the little fella. Anyways, uh, missile through this door, and yeah, I think this is where we want to go. Shoot a super missile to unlock this door, and we find another uh, item hidden in the area. It's a super missile tank. And there's a yellow hatch right there in front of us, which we can't do anything about, and those two space pirates pretty much just took themselves out. <laughs> we get another super missile tank for our troubles. We can't do anything about that yellow hatch door just yet. So, yeah, I'm bombing all the, f the floor to see if there's anything there, but there's nothing there, so let's just keep moving, shall we? What we want to do is we want to head up through the space pirate mothership, basically. And, uh, 
there's an important item we need to get at the top of the space pirate mothership. So yeah, if you encounter black space pirates, uh, a few charge shots should take these bastages out. Because they uh, hit hard, unfortunately. And I think they take off half of your energy tank if they hit you. So yeah, you can choose to fight them if you want. But as you noticed as I'm playing, uh, sh destroying the space pirates really does absolutely nothing. You can't get health upgrades from them. You can't get missiles from them. It doesn't matter. And uh, yeah. So just destroy the ones that get in your way, basically. So it won't really matter too much. Shoot this door. I'm going to recharge my energy because I need it. And we got 18 super missiles and 160 uh, missile tanks. So that's good. And I'm just going to be quiet throughout the rest of the part of this. Anyway, shoot the uh, missile. And we find ourselves in the hangar where uh, one of the space pirate ships are. Basically. We'll be coming back to that area too as time goes by. I'm not even going to bother with the black space pirates down below, but they spotted me regardless. Just ignore them and keep moving forward. Anyway, I'm just going to progress out the rest of the ship and uh, I'll speak to you guys later. I'm going to end my commentary right here. Going on mute. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. You can't destroy the security robots. You can only move them with missiles or super missiles. I just thought I'd point that out. You can't destroy the security robots no matter how hard you try. Sorry! Okay, this area of the Space Pirate Mothership is a little bit different from the others. I think we're in the main processing area, basically. What we want to do is more ball drop down through this area. And there's the power bomb that one Space Pirate stole from the ruins. We need to get that power bomb. It's important that we do. Security lasers blocking it. Ah, uh, but who cares? Who cares? Just grab it. We got ourselves the power bomb tank. Set with R and B in morph ball form. Opens the yellow hatches, and the explosion will also reveal hidden passageways that you probably can't get through. Power bombs are basically your best friend in uh, Metro games from this point on because, well, as I said before, they reveal certain doorways and hatches you probably couldn't access from before. But going through here, we get ourselves another power bomb tank, which is awesome. Alright, one thing I want to point out about this save room here is this is the last save room in this game before you go on and you take on the final boss, basically. Take a look at the map right here. This is the last save room you can access before you can take on the final boss. So, if you're like me when I first played the game, you can go on through and take on the final boss if you want, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I am going to basically show you where the boss room is and I'm going to backtrack throughout certain areas I've been through. Use a power bomb to break through the wall if you haven't. And proceed forward.
you need the speed booster to break through the floor down below at the bottom basically and there are no enemies in this particular area what you want to do basically is speed boost to break through those blocks right there like what I'm trying to do. Unfortunately it's a little tricky. So yeah. If you manage to get a good running start you can basically run and score attack your way down through the floor below. But you gotta be careful because if I remember correctly there are uh, there are la there are security lasers at the bottom. But I just thought I'd show this off right here. I can't get it unfortunately, but I remember playing through originally and trying to get it. It's a hassle. And I think down below is an energy tank for our troubles, but I'm just going to ignore this <coughs> and try to get it at a better time when I'm able to do it. But yeah, I thought I'd show that out for you guys. There's an energy tank down below that one floor, and you can easily get it if you manage to shine spark and speed boost your way and go through the floor. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys something interesting. So I'm going to backtrack to where the glass 2 bridge is now that we've got power bombs and show you something interesting. So uh, I'll see you guys there. Enjoy me blasting through the hordes of space pirates some more. A few minutes later. Alright, we're here back at the glass tube bridge, which connects to the Chozo ruins. Use a power bomb in this area. The tube will crack, and you can go underneath the tube area. This is very important. As you can see, we now have access to the lower areas of the Space Pirate Mothership. Use a power bomb in this particular area. You can go underneath here. And we got space pirates in the vicinity of this area too. What you're supposed to do is use this uh, speed booster to basically make your way up through this area because there's an important item hidden up here for you to get. I'm just space jumping my way all the way up to the top, ignoring these space pirate fools because up here we get another power bomb tank for our troubles. <laughs> But yeah, you're supposed to use the speed booster to fly up through this area. <coughs> That's what's on the left, the right side of this particular area. So let's check out the left side real quick. Use a power bomb. And go on through. That's another speed booster area that you can use, and we got more Bomba enemies in this area. Here's the save station for our troubles. If you need to, go ahead and use it. I'm going to use it because I'm going to save right here and be smart. But I won't save. Just recharge my energy. There are lots of little of those uh, slug enemies going through the area, the red ones. But lo and behold, as we go down... Where exactly is this area? Well, you'll find out eventually. But I didn't know about this the first time when I played through Metroid Zero Mission because I thought I was locked in the Space Pirate Mothership and Chosa Ruins when I first played it. But it was only when I got curious is that uh, I found out about this area eventually. But anyway, yeah, this area looks very suspicious. Use the power bomb to bomb through it and go through the uh, corridors, basically. We found ourselves another super missile tank. Power bomb the area one more time. And get the super missile tank in this particular area. Boom. Now we got over 20 super missile tanks. Very awesome. And that's it pretty much. There's really nothing else in this particular area. As you can see, we've gone pretty far from the uh, Chosa Ruins and the Space Pirate Mothership. So, where does this area lead to, you might ask? We are in Criteria! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at Criteria. And lo and behold, it's the area where we first found one of the, uh, the Plasma Beam, basically. 
but this is basically what you can do if you use the power bomb to get through the glass tube tank in the space Spacefire Mothership. We now have access to the Chozo Ruins once more, only we're on the other side, basically. But yeah, if you want to backtrack through some of the areas you've been through in the game, this is where you can do it, basically. And in order to get to that missile tank, you got to use the Shine Spark and Morph Bomb Mom to get it, which is very, very tricky. Power Bomb through this door right here. And we find ourselves back in the Chozo Ruins on the right side of all things. Chozodia, to be more specific. Use the Power Bomb to get through this particular area. And we find another power bomb tank for our troubles, ladies and gentlemen. It pays to go back through some of these earlier areas and investigate. Because it's important. You never know what upgrades you'll find and everything. Missile through this area. And look at where we are. We're back in the main uh, Chosa Ruins area as before. But yeah. If you follow what I did, you'll find yourself back in the main area of the original me uh, of, the ori of the game, basically. So that way you can backtrack and find all the items that you need, basically. Unfortunately, once you step through the area, like I did, you probably won't be able to backtrack as uh, I show, basically. But that... This is awesome, basically. That's all I can say. So yeah, if you want to 100% complete the game and everything, all you have to do, basically, is just uh, power bomb through the glass tube in the Space Pirate Mothership. And, uh, you will find yourself back in the main game area. Uh, and right here, you see we can find another missile tank, uh, super missile tank for our trouble. We're just racking up super missiles, aren't we, ladies and gentlemen? But yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show off to you all. There's really not much left to talk about, basically. Once you've gone through this area, pretty much, that's it. There's really nothing left. You can freely explore the areas now to your heart's content if you've been following my guide. And, uh, yeah, you can backtrack and go through the main areas anytime you want to. But that's gonna do it pretty much for this episode. I'm gonna save my game right here after fully recharging. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna go back to the Space Pirate Mothership. And we are going to go through the final door, basically. Will I 100% complete this game? Maybe. It just depends, basically. But for now, I'm going to end the video right here. This is Leo Hightower, and I will see you guys in the finale of Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Until then, God bless, and happy gaming. Peace out, peeps.